Hi guys, it's Tyra here from Reiki Essentials and Wellness. I'm just doing my vlog. I can't remember the last time I did. Um, I have my own private YouTube channel where it's just me and I talk about chronic pain and cute things and the pets, funny family bloopers. Um, and then I have this one for the shop. And so sometimes I'm like, oh, I've been making a lot of videos, but for the other channel. And then I forget. Um, anyway, it's the 29th of June. It's Wednesday. And June, I'm sorry, July 15th is coming up. And that was the last day that I worked for somebody else. And so my year anniversary of being a full-time small business woman um, is coming up. And wow, what a trip it's been. Um, I was reviewing some of my videos from last July. And um, like I did a video the Monday before I was done at the library. And then I didn't do one again until like the 29th of July. And I thought, wow. Um, I do remember though having such such a need um, to decompress um, decompress from everything that I was struggling with emotionally and decompressing from um, having to answer and not that you know my boss was an ogre or anything like that but having to answer to another person or or business entity for a job. Yeah, I remember having to decompress from all of that. And uh, I re retired early from the library and it was on a Thursday, that was my last day, uh, because I wanted to start my new life on a Friday. And so I did. And the next day I went and got my hair done. Next day I went and got my hair done, um, just cut, cut and styled, and I sat in that chair and she said, what would you like me to do, Tyra? And my hair was longer, I mean it was probably a good four inches longer than it is right now. Um, and I said, I just need it kind of shaped because it gets to be too long. And it like gets stuck in the car door, gets stuck in the seat belt, stuck under your shoulder strap or your bra strap or under your arm at night when you're trying to sleep. And so as much as I love my hair longer, it, it is really um, a labor of love to keep it that long. So I said just bring it up. And I, I think I had it cut about this length. And I just had my hair cut just a few days ago from my girlfriend. And I have the tendency, I just flip my head over, cut it off, but then sometimes um, the, the side gets longer. So whatever, my friend came to help me. So it's, it's been a year since I had a haircut. And um, yeah, and I just sit here going, it's been a year since I had my haircut. It's been a year since I have been a full-time small businesswoman, an entrepreneur, a person, you know, on my own. And the business has grown by leaps and bounds. Not that the banks give one, two frickin' shits about that. Um, <laughs> that's another story. And, you know, I'm just so proud to say I'm able to do all this. We're, we're on five and a half years. And as I look out over my camera, <laughs> I look at everything that we have out there and how we've expanded since we opened and I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud that I was able to do that without a, a loan. I, not that I haven't tried a small business loan. Um, I just have not yet. I don't, I don't want to have to. But if we expand again, then, then I'll have to get a business loan, I think, from the SBA and just so I can have more shelving and I, we are loaded to the to within a foot oops sorry within a foot of the ceiling in some areas of product 
and shelving and people are still finding us and you know I run out of like little things and I restock that I don't know I'm, I'm pretty proud of what we've got and um, but it's been a crazy first year um, we were doing really 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 well and then um, uh, my husband was unemployed for a little while and we are getting through we got through that and we're recovering from that so um, we had COVID in October um, it was the that holiday was one of the biggest holiday seasons we've had that was pretty awesome um, there are people and programming and classes that have shifted um, shifted in and out of what we do down here I brought them in classes people and programs brought them in see how it would work see how it would fit how it would mesh and some things worked out and some things didn't some classes you know you, it's the first time you do them and so um, you see where where it works when there's real people taking the class versus you putting it together um, so you see that that kind of thing and then you make adjustments for the next time and one of the classes we're doing now is astrology and we had two sessions in June and we'll have one more session in July and then one more in August and then starting in September we will have smaller regular classes like twice a month on Saturday and going through building that class there's some tweaks and stuff and so then the next class that I will be developing um, is fine-tuning my own sacred firefly Reiki classes and manuals and then um, also we have a dream class coming up and I'm really interested in that so I figure if I'm interested maybe somebody else is too uh, so we're gonna develop that class we did one on numerology that was great so all these little things um, and different classes that I've taken for my own spiritual journey and painting and it's just been a wild ride when I look back over the one year and how we've grown and um, I'm not lacking for any creative ideas and um, or things to do there's there is a lot to do and um, like I give our manager as much to do as possible um, but it still comes down to you know boss ladies still got to do some stuff <laughs> help with some things um, and I don't know um, like even for down here being down here for the whole day like dictates the need for like a microwave or something and I, I don't like microwaving my food <laughs> I've got a funny light because of the front um, I don't like microwaving my food if I don't have to so then I bought a um, an air fryer um, and that heats up the stuff just as quickly and to me it just tastes better I'm not as afraid of microwave energy killing my food and um, the water bill goes up because we're here more often and I'm, I'm constantly drinking more water or making tea and just little things but all enjoyable things and then I find that um, ice cube mm -hmm. like our manager has off on Tuesdays and I used to have an employee on Tuesdays but now that it's all me down here 
the insurance of having two employees is just too much. Um, so I'm down here on Tuesday and I'm alone, which is new. <laughs> Because at the library, you know, you're never really alone, and um, and it's only for a couple hours, because then he does come down again, and he's got his own D and D things that he does down here, but he's not technically working, and so yeah, that's an adjustment. Just having a library full of people, um, although towards the end, you know, it was COVID. We were social distancing for COVID stuff yet at the time, um, but just different little changes. Interesting and always fun, still always fun, uh, meeting more people and, you know, we more than, more than doubled um, what we were able to do down here for clients and product and everything else. So just nice nice journey so far and you know I still get those those rainy days and people don't want to come in and I get a little nervous on those kind of days so I have a rainy day discount if you come on in and brave the rain you know you get that rainy day discount um, yeah so I look forward to the next year so the next couple of days I will really be reminiscing and pondering on this year that has passed. It's a good time, an emotional time. And, you know, I think of um, relationships that have changed and relationships that are completely gone um, just because I, I'm not there and other relationships that I've chosen to not have that kind of energy in my life. And so different things. Um, just being more empowered and more centered, grounded. Yeah. Um, it, it really, really, really is one of my dreams manifested having a tiny little gift shop. Um, I want to change that dream a little bit so that it's not a tiny little gift shop anymore. It's a nice medium sized gift shop. <laughs> and yeah. I look forward to all of that and all the many, 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 many projects that I have on my desk. Um, yeah, so that's me at almost a year. Yeah, I'm a big girl now. I can do it. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Um, if you have anything to add, like how your journey has been in the past year, you're reminiscing yourself over a change even if it's not a year it's only been six months or it's been three months you know it's only been a week if you have a big change that you're going through put it in the comments if you want and yeah and we'll we'll reminisce together okay thanks for listening guys bye-bye <laughs>